guys today you're watching another episode of Nadia TV I'm glad to see you here thanks so much for watching and um, I want to speak to you about exercise today and I know I know you're thinking oh my god this is gonna be really boring I better switch it off now I already know everything about how good it is to exercise but I'm gonna tell you some things you don't know. So I would suggest that you keep on watching. Okay, so let's talk about why is it actually important that you exercise. Seems kind of not that important sometimes and it just seems like, oh, you know what, I don't, I'm just not gonna eat that much and it's just the calories but I'm gonna tell you it actually has nothing to do with calories well very little to do with calories let's just say that so calories if you guys have seen my Facebook page which is by the way Facebook slash Nadia's nutrition definitely check it out um, so if you follow me there, you would see that a few weeks ago I posted something about worst foods in America and you would see the caloric um, value of those foods and they were pretty awful. Um, I mean, Baskin Robbins Oreo milkshake, 2600 calories. Carl's Jr. Uh, bacon guacamole cheeseburger, 1800 calories. Do you know how much I need to exercise to burn that? When I run a marathon, I burn 2200 calories. That's all. So basically, if I had a Buskin Robbins Oreo milkshake and ran a marathon, I would still have 400 calorie surplus. Can you imagine that? This is crazy. So, calories are not the case. So let's see, let's see what is actually exercising do for you? What does it do for you? Number one, it increases your insulin sensitivity. And this is a big one. So if you know that you are prone to having problems with insulin sensitivity which is you know number one problem is type 2 diabetes which is insulin resistance so if you know that you're prone to that you should definitely exercise because exercise is number one thing to do that to improve sensitivity of your cells to insulin so it prevents diabetes a big one Number two, what it does is it reduces the stress. Actually, exercise is number one thing that you can do to prevent and actually improve depression. So it improves depression and it helps with stress levels. But why is it so important that we deal with our stress levels? Mm, well, let's see, actually increase stress is connected to obesity and weight gain. So I'm going to um, create another episode for you of in, in explaining how it is connected, but I'm just gonna tell you here that the more you're stressed out, the more you tend to eat. So being less stressed out definitely helps when you're trying to lose weight. Number three what it does is it actually burns those sugar calories i don't want to go into too much detail but basically when you have sugar which is not glucose but fructose it goes into liver and then it does all the nasty things over there so it actually exercise actually burns that stuff out of your liver completely out of your system instead of it getting out of the liver into your fat cells. So basically it helps your food, this the stuff that would generally deposit into your fat and you can't avoid it because there are a lot of foods that just have fructose, that ethanol, that beer, that, that drink, that you have a 
it would do the same thing it goes into the same liver pathway situation so basically it actually takes it out of there and doesn't let it go into your fat cells so it's not gonna happen it's not gonna deposit as fat so how cool is that basically that's that's what it does and that's a really cool thing well number four is it improves your sleep which is a big one for many people I know so many people who are taking sleeping pills and they might just try to exercise throw themselves out that could help some people it doesn't help but for many people it does so that's one of those things that you can try to do number five it actually improves your focus and it well, there's a question of research out there that it makes you smarter because it actually um, provides the growth, improves the growth of your brain cells. So that's pretty cool. That's that's a big one for me too. I definitely want to keep you know this running. So that's that's another thing. And number six, it maintains healthy bones and. Um, it basically prevents osteoporosis especially the weight bearing the strength training exercises that's what it's gonna do it's gonna help you keep your body keep your bone mass because it declines it declines after a certain age it's just gonna go down but you can stop that from happening so exercise is a big thing in that so now to the sad truth, two thirds of Americans do not exercise at all. And I mean at all, which is really bad. So obviously that's why we have so many problems, plus the junk food that people eat, but hopefully me and you can do something about it. So that's what we're doing by, by cooking differently and, and um, educating ourselves this way we're educating others and basically that's what I wanted to tell you and the thing is you don't need that much exercise you don't have to run marathons to be healthy not at all actually for many people running marathons is not healthy it depends for whom but you don't have to do that actually 20 minutes 20 30 minutes of exercise every day could be enough Take your dog for a long walk. Go for a walk with your spouse, with your kid. Just get out and do something. Just a little bit will help you a lot. You're getting all those benefits that I said just by 20, 30 minutes of exercise a day. That's it, that's it. So get out and do it. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to on my website, which is NadiaRichards.com. Go to my Facebook, which is Facebook slash Nadia's Nutrition. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe, you're gonna get a guide on how to eat healthy when going out, which is a big one because it's kind of hard. I'm gonna tell you, it is really hard. And um, the other thing that only my subscribers will get is information on my super cool upcoming webinar which is going to be totally free so you definitely don't want to miss out on that thanks so much for watching bye